good afternoon everyone i am pleased to inform you that geography department pirs from parun university has organized one webinar and the topic is gis and its application uh, today we are having mr krunal sithar who is working right now as an assistant professor in istar vidyanagar gujarat he is having teaching experience of more than 12 years His specialization is in GPS, global coordinating system, GIS applications, spatial analysis, and free software such as QGIS and ArcGIS. He has also presented some faculty development programs and workshops in Government Engineers College. Uh, he has organized one competition which states as NASA Space App Challenge in 2021. and in that during the year 2020 he wo- he ranked worldwide first position in it uh, adding one more thing is that he has been awarded or facilitated as national level best coordinator of isro institute of remote sensing and last but not the least he has also been awarded as gaurav puraskar by cvm on 3rd march 2021 so let's start our webinar which is on gis and its application thank you malika for a nice introduction thank you sir okay is my screen visible yes sir it is okay thank you so let's start from here Uh, GIS is a, not a new thing. It is a since 1964 by Sir Roger Tomlin from Canada. But different country and different region have a different terms for the GIS. For example, geographic information system is termed by USA. Geographical information systems by Euro. Spatial information systems by non geographical terminology in a technical language and natural resource information system as per the discipline based terminology and in india and remaining parts we known as a geo informatic system in a sort gis so it was started in the 1960 by uh, sir roger tomlin he is known as a father of gis he was defined a gis system for canadian region land resource mapping and classifications in the 1960s so gis is a not a one term it is a combinations of the three interdisciplinary one is a gps second is a remote sensing third is a informatics so let's begin each one by one GPS. GPS is full formed with global position systems. It provides us latitudes and longitudes on a earth surface with very high precision. USA uh, Department of Defense in 1998 started a constellation of 24 GPS for a mankind. Initially it was used for the military purpose only but in a 2000 it is open for each and every one even the civilian can access right now we are able to access gps signals in our mobile which is used by google maps and another applications so gps is directly send a satellite signals in your device and it's provide two informations mainly latitudes and longitudes and in another cases for precise timing purpose so it has a multiple types as per the applications and requirement a handle hand device a handle hand device for accurate positions and measuring in a millimeter accuracy it is a d gps and some mobile device so normally gps is also available right now in a, all the mobile mostly second is a remote sensing remote sensing is a nothing but a taking a image of earth from the satellites here 
the image is taken by special camera it is used infrared microwave sar and another so many different bands so this image provide sorry this satellites provide the image of earth third part is a informatics as we know informatics is a terms came from the it now it and computings normally we are aware about the computer engineering and information technology where computing excel data sheets database manipulations query all thing is easily available so this is a third part of the gis say informatics so all these three combine and make our points as a gis we required location service from the gps we required image analysis or remote sensing and third is a combining the process and analysis process is performed inside the computer and it's used some special tools here just i give one one example gis is deal with the reference data on the earth you can easily interpret this is the image of parul university you can see but how you can define a parul university on a earth surface so we have to provide its latitudes and longitudes on the earth surface where it is exactly so this is my geo locations we know each and every locations have a their own and unique locations id so this is my latitudes and longitudes of your respective object here for interpretation purpose i put the image of the entire parul university but each tree a fountain each buildings have a unique latitudes and longitudes now you learn what is the geo and its coordinates now what is the informatics normally in a computer uh, normal people who is not aware about the gs technology but mainly they know in the microsoft excels so in the excels we have a columns and row which provide the informations for example i just mentioned some informations name of this location is a parul university what is this it is a institutions it is a residential area commercial buildings whatever so i define the type is a institutions it is a specialization for pg ug schoolings whatever you like what subject they are teaching right now is a geology department strength of the students the result is 100% so as per the requirement we can increase the number of excel column it is known here in a gis technology as a attributes so all the technical informations or non spatial data is combined with the spatial data so locations and your information is combined so this is as a geo informatics i hope you learn easily why it is known as geo informatics it plus geo now try to see this informations normally we found this kind of the informations in a excel sheets so if you trying to read or interpret it is little bit difficult am i right so if we go with them some special tools then it's provide some benefits these tools are arcgis and another is a qgis normally visualizations have a worth a thousands of the words say a smart map see a uh, map is prepared using some special tools known as a rgis now in a rgis it is a digital map so it's a multiple analysis tools and query tools among them one is a i tool i tool is provide the information so i select the i tool and click on a respective area it will provide an informations so i clicked on rajasthan so it is provide the all the informations name of the state is a rajasthan rajasthan have a two flags its a number of towns is a 2 222 density per square meter uh, square kilometer is a 128 the sex ratio of gender difference is a 913 
total area. So all are the just Excel data, but those all data is associated with the Rajasthan only. Now I'm going to back the maps. See, it is the same. If you found the Rajasthan, it is the same thing here. Nothing changed. Number of flags, number of towns, density, but it is just highlighted this region, which I like to know. Why? Because I click on the Rajasthan. So this is a smart tool. It is just one example which we can perform. So my information is associated with Rajasthan latitudes and longitudes inside the attributes. Why implementation of GIS is important? Because 80% of government data have a special component. Means your driving license has a printed your address, but your address have a unique latitude longitudes. Your school, college, or university have a addresses. It's have a locations address, bank, government property, government building, railway stations, police stations, all have a unique locations. So each and every data which is government managing by Indian government or state government. It's have a 80 percent component as a spatial components or locations component. So you can imagine how big field is it. Second is a for a special visualizations of non-spatial data. Here the attribute data is known as a non-spatial data. So non-spatial data I can see on the map. So spatial information, spatial maps provide me information about the non-spatial data. GIS provide facility for data integrations. So as we seen in the previous, you can add the multiple columns. For example, name of the institutes, number of type, uh, sorry, type of the institutes, number of subjects, number of index, percentage of the results, placement ratio, teacher ratio, teacher qualifications, available facilities like internet facility, water, hostel, transportation, food, culture activities, etc, etc, etc. You can increase the n number of the columns. This is known as a data integrations, which is helps you to choose a best college or best subjects or best facilities. It is not only related to only education. It is also for a business purpose, hotel, transportation, movements and everywhere you can utilize the number of columns. GIS provide facility for generating information products. So just assume you have a multiple colleges information. So among them, if you found best placement ratio, best experience teachers, students to teacher ratio. So it is help you to choose a best college. Same way, for example, if you visit the any website, and you found as a common filter cheapest hotels for accommodations in a respective city who provide the free Wi-Fi, uh, bucket, breakfast, parking facilities, etc, etc, amenities. All the amenities is mentioned in the column wise. So it is help you to choose a best options of the accommodations of the hotels. So this analogy you can apply with the any business or any applications. We will discuss in a later stage the, all the applications. So GIS helped us to create the modeling and decision supports. So as I told you, you can select the best college, but not only from the mouth publicity, you can collect and interpret the available data. You can interpret the available facility. You can interpret the feedback and ranking or stars given by the visitors. So it is create the help for decision supports for you a modeling a modeling means it is provide some output which is help to find the gaps and problems suppose one hotel is not occupied regularly means what is the feedback given by the customer so you can improve on the respective area you can put some more filter for better facilities so gs help us for the modeling and supports so GS technology is much, much helpful. As per the statement by our Prime Minister, it is a most useful technology for developing country. As per the one of the Boston Consultancy Group report, 
Indian Jio Web services generate 4 billion revenue in a 2022 when there is a lockdown and generate the new 135,000 jobs. So we have a goal to achieve 40 to 45 billion annual efficiency gain from the geospatial technology. So you can imagine a large amount of the our revenue is saved and those revenue can helpful to establish a new project or helpful to put a thrust on an infrastructure project or as well it is helps to reduce the different kind of the taxes. So it is a helps to generate the revenue on save the revenues. So now you understood how it is work. So it is divided in a four modules. One is a data import. So you are importing the data from satellite's image or from your existing map or by manual entry from the hardware and computers. Second is a storing the data. For the data storage, we require uh, normally a hard disk right now or in a computer, but some data is also storage on the cloud. So remotely we can access the information and we can perform the analysis. La second part is the analysis. Analysis means we are retrieving some information from the existing models or from period data. So analysis is the most important part and from the analysis we are able to take uh, some standard decisions. So all the analysis is used for decision support and making. Since 2017 onwards in a Gujarat, each and every district collector have a one data analytics persons of GIS field. So as for the requirement to collector, he or she can ask the special data available from the imports data. So they can take a best decisions. So it is a totally scientific decisions for the help of mankind. So once the analysis is done, then we export the data. Here the export data is in the form of the map or query or special information. So this is as the output of chart, report or selected fields. So in the real world, there is a multiple layers are there. So in the QGIS and RGS software, we can create the multiple layer as per requirement from the earth surface. For example, a one layer I just consider as a homes only. So this layer represent the homes on a earth surface, no any another features. Second feature, show you a political boundary as a district boundary. So this is have a only political boundary, nothing else. No house, no tree, no poles, no commercial building, nothing. So if this is available in a district map, third is a street maps. So it is provide the line feature known as a road networks. Finally, you have a area code, you have a cities. So if you merge all the layer, this is not a limited number, but it is a just for visual interpretations and easy understanding. So if you merge all the features, then it's become reality, actual world image or features. So it's helpful for understanding. So now the question is rise. What kind of this layer are? It is made of the mainly three type of the feature. Point, line and area. Area or surface. So normally tree, pole, locations of your school, college, etc. We can represent as a point feature on a earth surface. Second is a line. So river road, railway, electricity line, fiber optics, gas line, drinking water, sanit water, all are considered as a linear or line feature. Then what about the area or surface feature? In the case of the area, we use a gardens, all the gardens as a one feature, economic zone, residential zone, agriculture zone, wetland, water bodies, forest, cold and hot desert so etc are divided as a polygons so line points and polygons are helpful to represent 
द लार्जर एरिया नाउ सरफेस तो सरफेस इज अ एरिया और एन हाइट बिकॉज वी नो ऑन अर्थ सरफेस ईच एंड एवरी ऑब्जेक्ट कंटेन द डिफरेंट हाइट इवन द ग्राउंड लेवल हैव अ डिफरेंट हाइट फ्रॉम द मेन सी लेवल सो सरफेस इज रिप्रेजेंट एज अ एरिया इंक्लूडिंग द हाइट्स हाइट इज कंसिडर एज अ जेड वैल्यू सो हाउ वी रिप्रेजेंट आर दिस थ्री पार्ट पॉइंट लाइन एंड पोलीगॉन सो फर्दर लाइन पॉइंट पोलीगॉन इज डिवाइडेड इन अ टू पार्ट वैक्टर डेटा एंड रास्टर डेटा वैक्टर डेटा इज प्रिपेयर इन साइड टू जी आईस एंड आर जी आई एस और स्पेशल जी आई एस सॉफ्टवेयर वर्ल रास्टर डेटा मीन्स इट्स अ पिक्सलेटेड डेटा तो इमेज टेकन बाई यू इन अ मोबाइल इज अ रास्टर इमेज वूज वैल्यूज हैव अ स्मॉल स्मॉल पिक्सल्स स्मॉल स्मॉल स्क्वायर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू टेक अनी इमेज एंड इफ यू ट्राई टू ओपन दोज इमेज इन अ लार्ज कंप्यूटर और प्रोजेक्टर यू फाउंड द पिक्चर इज डिस्टॉर्टेड बिकॉज ऑफ स्मॉल स्मॉल स्क्वायर सो रास्टर इमेज इज नॉर्मली जीपेजी इमेज जीपैक जे पी जी टीफ इमेज एस वी जी ऑल आर कंसिडर एज अ रास्टर इमेज विच इज टेकन फ्रॉम द सेटेलाइट इमेज एंड आवर जी आई एस सिस्टम कन्वर्ट द रास्टर इमेज इन टू वैक्टर इमेज सो रास्टर हैव एडवांटेज इट्स रैपिड डेटा कलेक्शन एंड लार्ज डेटा वॉल्यूम कैन बी हैंडल इजिली इट इज अ सिंपलेस्ट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड फॉर्मेट एंड इट्स हैव अ डिसएडवाटेज एज अ लो जियोमेट्रिकल एक्यूरेसी मीन्स सपोज इमेज इज टेकन एट द एज दैन इज जियोमेट्री इज कॉम्प्रोमाइज poor in a network analysis network analysis means on the road network shortest path longest path if you like to find you require to analysis just like google map if you enter the destinations of amdavad from the baroda it is so the multiple path like express highway internal roads or national highway so this is known as the network analysis which is not good in a raster but it is really good in a vector data but it is good in a area analysis for crop analysis and area analysis it is a best right so both have their own advantage and disadvantage between the raster data and vector data so geographical database so it is a made of the landscape on earth transportation surface water boundaries geodetic informations flood zones wetlands so all the layers are combined and finally it's become a our actual earth surface layer so what is the use of gis it is maximum use right now in a e governance plan right now the government of india replaced the word e governance to g governance you can found the so many place the word is utilized a g governance so it is used for transportation analysis land record management municipalities disaster management crime patrolling and crime management e districts property registrations means non agriculture to agriculture and permissions insurance and banking forest and soil conservation conservations so you can found government of india allocated budget 6562 crore rupees for convert the existing data into gis based data a smart city or amrut city is totally planned on the gis based maps you can found the different multiple layer regarding the gis is a gis based master plans water supply plans waste system storm water urban transportations all are just gis based land parcels and counting and the advantage is that it is work in a very very small scale work sorry large scale work so you can see this is a 1 to 4000 scale so all the features have a better accuracy compared to previous mapping of 1 to 10000 or 1 to 25000 maps so using the gis base it is converted to multiple parts see 
Amrut city is a key for reform and establishing and with help of national urban information system NAUIS, it is a connected. So you can see there is a one internet services. It is GIS for the mapping a web applications is permissions and authentication play one is row data so all are combined as a one source so it is provide easy and accessible uh, permissible uh, informations for example uh, amravati city surat city uh, bangalore city they put their all the property cards online so any citizens can see even in the case of the gujarat a prolongated land records of the farmers are also available including map and exit dimensions on the web server with free of cost so you can see the planning informations and its facility which is available for the common people by government of india using the gis we can utilize for future planning and imaginations how the cities expand where it is expand its view and its availability even we can prepare the earthquake model which buildings have a higher potential for the collapse and which building have a sustainability from the remote sensing data so what is the role of the geospatial uh, technology for a smart city it is for the planning purpose health purpose security purpose renewable energy where you can allocate the PSC public health center, where you can put the gardens, where you can put the transportation bus stands, stops. So, using a minimum cost, a maximum people get to be benefited. So, it is a minimum investment and maximum reachability to the common people. So, this thing is possible just due to the GIS only. So, let us see real world and GIS data. See. As I told you in the beginning, we have a attribute data or Excel data, which is for the classified in a qualitative data and quantified data. Qualified data means its scale is very, very smaller. It is a good data, average data and poor data. Because as your scale is small, then it is a more accurate. Even we use the legend to represent the object. It is a provide the scale map too. So we are representing our attribute data on the earth surface. Quantity data means it's a large number of information, but no a quality or accuracy because due to the lower resolutions of the satellite images. See, one of the districts uh, parcel boundaries measured. So you can calculate the area. If you know this farmer generate the X type of the crop and per kg how much water, how much fertilizer is required. So government or scientists easily assign them special amount of water or fertilizers or seeds because there is a no wastage of excessive or there is a no shortage due to the any reason. So exit utilization of natural resource and material with higher efficiency is possible here. See, if you have a digital map, you can measure a distance between the any two objects or any two locations. So you can easily calculate the area, line, points and polygon. So it is helpful for spatial analysis and visualizations. So GIS is further divided in a three part. Desktop GIS, uh, in a computer, whatever you use is a desktop GIS internet and web gis it is known as a cloud services from where you can access your information and data and you can upload for the mobile gis and wire gis so it is a helpful for the analysis from your mobile or handle hand device third part is a distributed gis which is based on your servers and internet so, for a same data can be accessed on multiple locations. So, up to now, you are facilitated with the traditional maps or paper printed maps. But we know as the time is going, paper is distorted, it's become yellowish or it may be scratched. It's have an adverse effect by tea, coffee, water or any foods. It cannot be sustained long more. But a digital map have a long life, it's uh, availability. 
easy to digitally update. So doesn't need to use eraser and pencil, but you can digitally change and update the information. You can easily change the scale of your map. To prepare a paper map with the standard scale, you cannot change your scale, right? Easy to copy means image, PDF, you can lock the layer, you can set the layer. So digital map have much, much, much advantages compared to simple paper maps. Furthermore, there is a multiple discipline here I collected and put where the GIS is used. Energy transportations, calculations, planning, installations, oil field founding, oil field pipeline installations, mining volume calculations from where the exact amount of our best amount of the natural resources available, telecommunications to find the traffic per tower, per uh, honeycomb pattern, per area. Infrastructure planning definitely we use to where the constructions, pillars, or overflies there. Transportations we calculate and compare the network between the two cities and amount of the transportation of the populations, water use, availability, and filtrations. Agriculture have a largest boom in the GIS and remote sensing. Even the government this budget push for the drones for the agriculture purpose and measurement. Local government as a tax collection collections, mapping, town planning, etc. Business purpose for the analysis of your business volume per year, per month, per season, per week. Forestry for the calculations. Even the government prepared the so many portals. You can note down or you can take a screenshots. Natural resource management, Bhuvan, Mosdeg, Bhumi Sampada, Biodiversity, Indian Waris portal. All are the largest portal for the Indian citizens who can access free of cost. All the department information, all the different informations as a GIS format available in this services. Indian Waris portal is a maximum used right now for weather forecast availability of the water because water is the highest problems. So if you have water, we can provide the agriculture and batter feeds. So here I saw intro about the GIS and its techniques. I hope you understand. Now I open the session for question and answer. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, sir, actually, we will post this on Facebook Live. So I'll share your email ID with students. Those who have any query, they can directly contact you. And I'll share my email ID also. I am assistant professor of geography department. PIR, Paro University. So once again, thank you so much. Your introduction to GIS webinar was on point. Uh, I can say that a person who will who is layman, he'll be easily able to understand what is GIS, what is this software, and how to use it. And as the name itself suggests that it is geographical information system, that means we should have the knowledge of our surroundings of our geography and this is the reason why i have chosen this topic the first webinar of geography department so thank you so much sir and thank you so much parul university for organizing this type of webinar so that we can uh, call experts from different universities and share their knowledge with our students okay. thank you thank you malvika thank you parul university okay. you webinar teams for giving me this nice opportunity to sharing my skill and knowledge. Thank you. So welcome, sir. Okay, I'm stop the meeting. Okay, Malvika? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. No, welcome, sir.